The historical school of economics was an approach to academic economics and to public administration that emerged in the 19th century in Germany, and held sway there until well into the 20th century. The professors involved compiled massive economic histories of Germany and Europe. Numerous Americans were their students. The school was opposed by theoretical economists. Prominent leaders included Gustav von Schmaler (1838–1917) and Max Weber (1864–1920) in Germany, and Joseph Alois Schumpeter (1883–1950) in the United States. Topic: Tenets. The historical school held that history was the key source of knowledge about human actions and economic matters, since economics was culture-specific, and hence not generalizable over space and time. The school rejected the universal validity of economic theorems. They saw economics as resulting from careful empirical and historical analysis instead of from logic and mathematics. The school also preferred reality, historical, political, and social, as well as economic, to mathematical modeling. Most members of the school were also sociopolitiker social policy advocates, i.e. concerned with social reform and improved conditions for the common man during a period of heavy industrialization. They were more disparagingly referred to as cathedersozialisten, rendered in English as socialists of the chair. Compare armchair revolutionary, due to their positions as professors depicted sitting in chairs. The historical school can be divided into three tendencies. The older, led by Wilhelm Roscher, Karl Nyes, and Bruno Hildebrand. The younger, led by Gustav von Schmaler, and also including Etienne Lesperes, Karl Bucher, Adolf Wagner, Georg Friedrich Knapp and to some extent Lujo Brentano. The youngest, led by Werner Sombart and including, to a very large extent, Max Weber, predecessors included Friedrich List. The historical school largely controlled appointments to chairs of economics in German universities, as many of the advisors of Friedrich Althoff, head of the university department in the Prussian Ministry of Education 1882-1907, had studied under members of the school. Moreover, Prussia was the intellectual powerhouse of Germany, so dominated academia, not only in Central Europe, but also in the United States until about 1900, because the American economics profession was led by holders of German PhDs. The historical school was involved in the Methodenstreit, strife over method, with the Austrian school, whose orientation was more theoretical and apriaristic. Topic: <laughs> Influence in Britain and the US. The historical school had a significant impact on Britain, 1860s to 1930s. Thorold Rogers (1823–1890) was the Took Professor of Statistics and Economic Science at King's College London from 1859 until his death. He is best known for compiling the monumental A History of Agriculture and Prices in England from 1259 to 1793, seven-volume 1866–1902, which is still useful to scholars. William Ashley (1860–1927) introduced British scholars to the historical school as developed in Germany. In the United States, the school influenced the institutional economists, such as Thorstein Veblen (1857–1929) and especially the Wisconsin School of Labor History, led by John R. Commons (1862–1945). More importantly, numerous aspiring economists undertook graduate studies at German universities, including John Bates Clark, Richard T. Ely, Jeremiah Jenks, Simon Patton, and Frank William Tausig. Canadian scholars influenced by the school were led by Harold Innes at Toronto. His Staples thesis holds that Canada's culture, political history and economy have been decisively influenced by the exploitation and export of a series of staples such as fur, fishing, lumber, wheat, mined metals and coal. The staple thesis dominated economic history in Canada 1930s to 1960s, and is still used by some. After 1930 the historical school declined or disappeared in most economics departments. It lingered in history departments and business schools. The major influence in the 1930s and 1940s was Joseph Schumpeter with his dynamic, change-oriented, and innovation-based economics. Although his writings could be critical of the school, Schumpeter's work on the role of innovation and entrepreneurship can be seen as a continuation of ideas originated by the historical school, especially the work of von Schmaler and Sombart. 
Alfred D. Chandler Jr. (1918–2007) had a major impact on approaching business issues through historical studies. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Members of the school. Carl Bucher, Bruno Hildebrand, Georg Friedrich Knapp, Karl Nyes, Etienne Lespers, Wilhelm Roscher, Friedrich Wilhelm Joseph Schelling, Gustav von Schmaller, Werner Sombert, Adolf Wagner, Max Weber, Karl Polanyi, Joseph Schumpeter English school Although not nearly as famous as its German counterpart, there was also an English historical school, whose figures included Francis Bacon and Herbert Spencer. This school heavily critiqued the deductive approach of the classical economists, especially the writings of David Ricardo. This school revered the inductive process and called for the merging of historical fact with those of the present period. Included in this school are, William Wewell, Richard Jones, Walter Bagay-Ho, Thorold Rogers, Arnold Toynbee, and William Cunningham, to name a few. See also Freiburg School Historism Institutional Economics, a related school developed in the United States German Historical School of Law Productivity Improving Technologies Historical Topic References Topic Further reading Avtonomov, Vladimir, and Georgi Glovely, 2015. The Influence of the German Historical School on Economic Theory and Economic Thought in Russia. The German Historical School in European Economic Thought, 185+. Plus. Bliss, WDP ed., 1898. The Encyclopedia of Social Reform, Including Political Economy, Political Science, Sociology and Statistics. pp. 1039ff, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link. Bucher, Carl 1927. Industrial Evolution. 6th ed. New York, New York, Holt. Backhaus, Jürgen G. 1994, ed. Gustav Schmaller and the Problems of Today. History of Economic Ideas, Vols. I. 1993 thirds, 2, 1994 over 1. Backhaus, Jürgen G. 1997, ed. Essays in Social Security and Taxation. Gustav von Schmaller and Adolf Wagner Reconsidered. Marburg, Metropolis. Backhaus, Jürgen G. 2000, ed. Karl Bucher, Theory, History, Anthropology, Non-Market Economies. Marburg, Metropolis. Balabkins, Nicholas W. 1988. Not by Theory Alone, The Economics of Gustav von Schmaller and Its Legacy to America, Berlin, Dunker and Humblot. Campagnolo, Giles, and Crystal Vivel. Before Schumpeter, Forerunners of the Theory of the Entrepreneur in 1900s German Political Economy, Werner Sombart, Friedrich von Wieser, European Journal of the History of Economic Thought 19.6 908-43. Chong, Ha Jun 2002. Kicking Away the Ladder. Development Strategy in Historical Perspective. London, Anthem. Dorfman, Joseph. The Role of the German Historical School in American Economic Thought, American Economic Review 1955, 17-28, in JSTOR Grimmer Solem, Eric 2003. The Rise of Historical Economics and Social Reform in Germany, 1864-1894, Oxford University Press. Grimmer Solem, Eric, and Roberto Romani. The Historical School, 1870-1900, Across National Reassessment, History of European Ideas 24.4-5 267-99. Hawk, A. M. Methodology of the Social Sciences, Ethics, and Economics in the Newer Historical School, from Max Weber and Rickert to Sombart and Rothaker ed. Peter Kozlowski. Springer Science and Business Media. Hodgson, Jeffrey M. How Economics Forgot History. The Problem of Historical Specificity in Social Science. London, New York, Routledge. Kadish, Alan 2012. 
Historians, Economists, and Economic History pp. 3–35 Excerpt Kozlowski, Peter, ed. 2013. The Theory of Capitalism in the German Economic Tradition, Historism, Ordo-Liberalism, Critical Theory, Solidarism. Springer Science and Business Media. Lindenfeld, David F. The Myth of the Older Historical School of Economics, Central European History 26 No. 4–405–16. Pearson, Heath. Was there really a German historical school of economics? History of Political Economy 31.3 547-62. Reinert, Eric How Rich Countries Got Rich, and Why Poor Countries Stay Poor. New York, Carroll and Graff Publishers. Roscher, Wilhelm. Principles of Political Economy, 2 vols. From the 13th 1877 German edition. Chicago, Callahan. Schumpeter, J. A. 1984. History of Economic Analysis. London, Routledge. Seligman, Edwin A. 1925. Essays in Economics. New York, Macmillan. Shianoya, Yuichi 2001, ed. The German Historical School, The Historical and Ethical Approach to Economics, Routledge. Shianoya, Yuichi 2005, The Soul of the German Historical School. Springer. Tribe, Keith 1988, Governing Economy. The Reformation of German Economic Discourse Cambridge University Press. Tribe, Keith 1995, Strategies of Economic Order. German Economic Discourse 1750-1950 Cambridge University Press republished 2006 Topic. External links New School for Social Research